Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There are many misconceptions which prevail the concept of Islamic punishments. Amongst these misconceptions is one of the notions that uh, in cases of diyat, the diyat of a woman is half that of a man. In other words, diyat which is to be given to the family of the murdered person in cases of intentional murder and when the, the heirs of the murdered person forgive the murderer, then the diyat which has to be given in case of a man will be twice which would be given in case had the mur murdered person be a lady. Now this concept has arisen because in the times of the Prophet, this diyat was implemented by him in the society. Now if we study the Quran, we come to realize that the Quran has not obligated us with any amount of diyat. It has not stipulated a specific amount of diyat. What the Quran has said that the diyat must be paid according to the customs and the conventions of the society. Now in the Arab society of the Prophet's times, the diyat of a lady or the diyat of a woman was half that of a man. And therefore in accordance with this custom and with this convention, the Prophet imposed this diyat in the Arab society. Today, of course, we are not bound to follow that custom. We can legislate our own custom. We can determine our own custom. The parliament can determine the will of the people in this regard and then implement that as a diet of a lady. In other words, we can say that the diet of a woman uh, as being regarded as half of the man is not a correct concept. It is not that the Quran has obligated us in any manner to regard the diet of a woman to be half that of a man. The Quran has only, only and only obligated us to say or to determine the diet on the basis of the customs and conventions of a society. If today this, these customs have changed, if today these customs and conventions are different, then of course, whatever the custom and convention in this regard is, that shall be followed. Again, this can be different in different societies. For example, in Pakistan, in, in Indonesia, in Sudan, in various Islamic societies, the notion of diet could be different, the amount of diet could be different because in each of these cases, the, the, those in authority have been obligated to follow what the custom and convention of that particular society is. So in a nutshell, it is not correct to say that Islam has eternally fixed the amount of diyat of a woman to be half that of a man. In the time of the Prophet himself, he just imposed or enforced the custom or uh, convention of the Arab society regarding the diyat of a lady. Today, we can register it again, we can determine this diyat to the will of the people, and we can follow the custom of our own society in this regard.